Hey guys, welcome back to Andy's Dinosaur Reviews. As you can see right here in front of us, we are about to take a look at a Mosasaurus. Now this Mosasaurus is actually from a company that we haven't got a chance to look at too much here on the channel because they are very recent. I believe they only started to make prehistoric figures this year and this is from Think Art. And this is actually sculpted and painted by Sir Chai Junyo, who I had reviewed his Allosaurus a few months ago and I was really blown away by just how beautiful it was. Well, this is his second figure now. This is the Mosasaurus in 135th scale. You can see as far as the box goes, there is a beautiful image along with a silhouette of the Mosasaurus right here on the front, kind of giving you a sneak preview of what the Mosasaurus looks like on the inside. If we look at the side, you've got Think Art, Mosasaurus, and again that beautiful silhouette. And then the box doesn't really have anything on the back, same deal on the other side. So let's break this box open and we will get a look at it. So the box is actually really, really nicely done. It kind of comes with uh, this sleeve, what we were looking at before when I said it was the box. It's actually just kind of a very thin paper sleeve that goes over top of the box. And then the inside box is just pure black. And when you open it up, it comes with this very, very cool Mosasaurus information sheet, which gives you a sneak peek again of the Mosasaurus there. And when you open it, you've got another image actually of the base, I do believe. And then you open it a little further, you've got some information as far as this goes when it comes to it being in English, and I do believe in Thai over here on the side. Another image there of the Mosasaurus itself. And then down here at the bottom, you have a little information as far as the actual model itself. Very, very cool. And uh, this is brand new, something that was not in with the Allosaurus as far as the Think Art figures go. So continuing on, as far as getting better and better, we already are getting more included, and that is awesome. This is a beautiful addition to this set, without question. So we will bring out the base. I have the base here, and I can see one thing right away that's very cool. Well, first of all, the base looks awesome, but as you can see over here, as far as applying the pieces that go to the base to the base, it's that one type of a thing that I love that I only recently started to discover companies doing that is including magnets, so that allows you to connect them very easily, but they stay very stable. That is a very cool addition to this set already. And then we've got some coral here. We've got that down there. And then we've got a few other extras, which we can see. We will take a look at all of these once they are all together on the base and see just how awesome this looks. i got to get that in the right spot. And there we go. We have, I believe, an ammonite. And then we bring in the Mosasaurus itself. And wow, does this look absolutely jaw-droppingly gorgeous straight away. Wow, does that look incredible. Look how beautiful this Mosasaurus is. I actually think I immediately like this more than the Allosaurus, and I loved the Allosaurus. This whole thing just looks so awesome to me. The Mosasaurus itself is really, really beautifully sculpted and painted. It looks very, very realistic here in person, and the base itself also looks really beautiful, very high quality, has a fantastic appearance to it, and I love the addition of these other extras here as well. This set already is just absolute beauty in my opinion and I am really excited to show you guys this up close so let's do that right now and get a closer look. So starting up here at the head of the Mosasaurus, look how incredibly beautiful the overall sculpting of this Mosasaurus is. Insane amounts of detail and sculpt I will say as far as the entire head area of this Mosasaurus and look at the tongue on the inside of the mouth. Look how realistically painted that is. That is just amazing to me. You can really see just how many different tones of color and everything are included. And not just on the tongue, you can even see on the side skin flap there of the mouth. The entire inside of the mouth is amazing looking. The teeth are painted beautifully. You can also see that extra set of teeth on the inside there that the Mosasaurus is known for. So the mouth in general is just amazing to me. It really, really looks incredible. But if we look at the actual head sculpt again, there is just detail and sculpt everywhere. As far as minute detailing goes, this thing is just loaded to the max. The eye is painted really beautifully in a nice realistic looking whitish color with a black pupil. Looks great. The underside sports many, many 
creases in the skin really kind of shining through the movement of the Mosasaurus. You can really see how beautifully the skin is folding here on the side of the neck right over here in this side here. And uh, you can really get an idea of how it's turning its head to the left and bunching the skin up right there. Beautiful attention to detail on the part of Think Art and Surachai. And again, right here in general, you can really see because the Mosasaurus has its head turned to the left, it's really, really bunching the skin up all over in that general area right there. Really giving it lots of wrinkling and skin folding going on. And that really shines through beautifully with the sculpt of this Mosasaurus. As we start to run back along the back, you can see all sorts of incredible sculpt and detail. The skin texture looks fantastic on this. Look at even the flippers. Wow. They look just beautiful. And everything has this really nice gloss to it because it would be under the water, so it's going to have that very nice shiny wet look. I also love the coloration. You can see it's a very realistic coloration as it's a dark blue up here on the top. And then when you get to the underside, it's a much lighter blue that is incredibly realistic. And the sculpt work of the underside is also just gorgeous, honestly, would be the way I could put it. And it's all been beautifully painted. Again, when you order these Think Art figures, your figure is actually painted by the artist himself. So you know you are going to get a top-notch paint job when it comes to these figures. Beautifully sculpted as far as the flippers go on the underside. And then you start to move back along the body. And again, you can really pick up on the incredible sculpt work showing the movement of the Mosasaurus really, really nicely. You can see all the wrinkling going on here in the skin of the stomach as it, again, like I said, is turning to the left and it's really bunching the skin up here in this region of the body and it really is beautifully portrayed with the overall sculpting of this Mosasaurus. And then we get back here to the rear flipper and again you can see just how wonderfully painted this is. I love that it transitions to a nice darker blue as you get to the edge of the flipper but then we have this very nice light dry brushing that's been done pretty much everywhere that brings out the detail so well on this and really makes all the detail just pop out to you. You can see this little hole here is actually where you put the peg from the base in so that you can put your Mosasaurus up there on it and display it. As we run out the length of the tail, once again it just looks unbelievable the whole way out. Look at the tail, look at the very fine scaling going on. Really unbelievable overall. This is probably the single most detailed Mosasaurus in my collection. And then if we look at the opposing side, again, it has a very grumpy, very angry type of an appearance to it. It looks exactly like the type of prehistoric marine reptile that I would expect to swim to the top of the water and rip my head off. That's exactly the feeling I get with this Mosasaurus because he just does not look happy at all. Again, you can take note of how wonderfully they've done as far as displaying the movement because on this side, you don't see near as much wrinkling going on or skin folding going on. When it comes to the turn of the head, it is now stretching the skin on this side, and that was really nice attention to detail. They really, Surchai Junya really pays attention to the movement of the animal when it comes to the sculpt, and uh, really shows exactly how the animal is moving, and it shines through in his sculpts. Again, the underside looks unbelievable. All the scaling, the very nice kind of thick, larger scaling on the underside really looks great. As you start to move back the body, again, the skin texture looks unbelievable, especially, I really like the area right here as well where the base of the flipper kind of connects to the body. Really incredible work there also. And then again, that beautiful skin texture as we run back, that very nice dry brushing that has been done in certain areas, and certain areas just really brings out the detail so well, but it gives it such a great look as far as color and skin tone when it comes to the overall realism of the figure. And again, back here, we can see the coloration very nicely and gradually transition to that darker blue as you get closer to the edge of the flipper. And the base of the flipper looks great here where it connects to the body again. And then we run out the length of the tail. Look how unbelievable that is. And I really love the way it shines in the light because, again, you would have this very genuine wet look that you are seeing on this. And this is exactly what you would see if I were able to beach a real living Mosasaurus. It would have this very nice shiny wet look. And that's exactly what I see here. This Mosasaurus is just unbelievable. Just absolutely gorgeous. Then when we take a look at the base, the base looks unbelievable as well. And one thing that I can say straight away that I really, really love is the fact that the 
ocean floor, what you would be seeing here with the ocean floor looks really realistic. It looks very nice, very sandy. And he overall has done a beautiful job on the sculpting of it and including lots of very fine details. But I really love the paint application that he's done because it really realistically gives you the feeling of like looking down into the water and seeing kind of the sun shining through with the waves and uh, really glistening off of the ocean floor. I think he's beautifully portrayed that here and that's something I've never actually seen previously when it comes to any kind of a prehistoric animal base so that is a very very cool addition to this base and a great addition to this set you can see that the actual extras that are on the base look great as well they are really beautifully painted they look very realistic the ammonite here the coral everything really looks great and again all of this has been painted by the artist himself so it's very reassuring ahead of time you'll know right away that you're going to get a fantastic piece and a beautifully painted piece there's no ifs ands or buts about that and the actual uh, underside of this is really nicely done as well it has a very nice soft feel to it it's very professional and in general the base actually has a little bit of weight to it so that is also a plus it'll keep it nice and stable as far as a size goes on our mosasaurus from the tip of the snout to the tail you are looking at about nine and three quarter inches almost 10 inches or about 25 centimeters and there's not really too much for a height i guess the highest point would be the tail you're looking at a little almost about four and a quarter inches or about just under 11 centimeters of course that would be totally different as far as the height goes once it's on the base itself and as far as the base goes for a size for a length you are looking at a about five and a quarter inches actually somewhere in that range or about 13 centimeters and for a width you are looking at about two and three quarter inches or about seven centimeters and once we put the mosasaurus back on the base which i did show you has that little hole right there you just slide that into this cool very nice looking and professional looking clear peg which is awesome because it gives it that nice underwater feel so the height now is totally different for the mosasaurus the height now probably would be the head would be the highest point you're looking at about four and three quarter inches or about 12 centimeters for a size comparison there is the papo t-rex and you can see now that he is a decent size in comparison to the mosasaurus but considering that the Papo Rex is a good sized figure. You should now be able to tell that the Mosasaurus also in turn is a good sized figure. Being 135th scale, it's definitely a large figure and it really shines through here next to the Papo Rex. And for another size comparison, here is the Think Art Allosaurus next to the Mosasaurus and you can see that they are beautifully sized amongst each other and they look incredible together. This is shaping up to be one heck of an amazing collection as far as these Think Art prehistoric animals go, and the Allosaurus and Mosasaurus look fantastic together. An interesting little tidbit of information on this is actually if you see it on the very cool clear peg right there, again, as I said before, insinuating that it is water and clear, uh, you can see that it swivels. So if you would like, you can really position your Mosasaurus in any direction that you want but if you would like your mosasaurus not to swivel and you want it to stay completely still there's a little area right here between the coral that if you set the tail in perfectly fits doesn't scratch your model and now it's completely stable still and does not swivel at all so this think art mosasaurus sculpted by sir chai Junyao, is just honestly breathtaking in person I can't even begin to explain to you just how beautiful this looks. Sitting here staring at it, it is unbelievable. The gloss used over top of it really gives it that fantastic, very realistic, wet look. And that same gloss is over top of everything, including the base and the ammonite coral, all that stuff. It all really genuinely looks very realistic. And the overall appearance of this is just awesome it really is i think the paintwork as always by sir chai Junyao, is done beautifully and very very realistically i couldn't possibly imagine any more of a realistic paint scheme than what you do get on these figures and as i did state about a hundred thousand times throughout the reviews of his figures is that it is amazing that you do get 
these figures sculpted and of course painted by the original artist. I cannot stress how cool that is enough because most times when you buy a figure from any company, you're probably going to get it sent to a factory and they will factory paint it. It probably won't match up exactly to what you see on the prototype or anything. That's not what you get here when it comes to the Think Art figures. It is sculpted and painted again by the original artist making these just so unbelievably beautiful in person. The sculpt work on this Mosasaurus is fantastic. It just genuinely looks real. Sitting here staring at me, it really honestly looks like a real living Mosasaurus that's just been shrunken down and is somehow just chilling right here in front of me. The sculpt work as far as the movement of the Mosasaurus is unbelievably beautifully portrayed here in the sculpt. Everywhere you can see that there would be movement, it is really shining throughout the sculpt of this figure. Again, everything as far as very fine little detailing, the overall skin texture, it's all there. It's all beautiful. This is such an incredibly highly detailed and beautifully painted Mosasaurus that it easily and without question just became one of the best pieces that I have in my collection. So if you would like to pick up this unbelievable Think Art Mosasaurus, I will include a link in the description where you can contact Sir Chai Junyao yourself and order this guy right away. As per usual when it comes to their figures, you will have to wait probably about a week or so before he'll have it finished, maybe two weeks. You do have to give him his time to actually paint it and build it and all that fun stuff for you. But trust me when I tell you that it is without question worth the wait and you will definitely be very happy with the result. The price for the Mosasaurus is only $75 and then that excludes the shipping cost. You would have to pay the shipping of course yourself because it just really depends on where exactly the person is that's buying it and how far from Thailand you are and of course you have to take into consideration the shipping time that it will take to get to you but it'll take about a week or two for him to finish painting it and everything and I will say that without question $75 for this is a steal as this thing is honestly just beyond gorgeous in person so again check the description contact Sir Chai Junyao right away to order this unbelievable Mosasaurus but before you do that don't forget to please like comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next review Thanks for watching.